All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Christy, and I am the founder of We Are Home Business Bakers and the uh, Home Business Bakers Academy. Yeah. Still iffy on the name. Um, but we have always had, not always, we have off and on had bake with friends it's gone by a couple different names we've had cookbook club and uh bake with sarah and um christie's something or another so it's always been something that we've done with just a small amount of people however i thought it would be super nice hi carrie to kind of expand get more people involved have more fun um, Sarah is really our expert on all things baking and ingredients and everything. Um, so she usually, if we have any questions on ingredients, she can answer them. And if anybody has any thoughts, questions, concerns, always speak up. So this is kind of what we've always done. And that is we pick a recipe and it it, it may evolve. We may find different ways to do this, but we've always, um, between Sarah and I, pick a recipe, one that we think can give a little bit of challenge, maybe a couple new skills, but is still fun enough that it's not stressful. So you're learning a skill, you're hanging out with your friends, you're discussing things. And then if you are an expert baker already, or if you have done the particular recipe many times, we challenge you. We say, you know, take it up to the next step. Like if you are, if one week we're doing a drip cake or one month we're doing a drip cake. Well, we might say, all right, let's do a double-sided drip cake. So if you are an expert or, you know, you've been baking your whole life, this can still apply to you because we can then challenge you. You can challenge yourself to take it up to the next level. And then on top of that, we like to challenge ourselves to take really nice pictures. So this bake with friends helps you in a few ways. One, you're learning new skills. Two, you're challenging yourself. Three, you're meeting new friends. And four, we get feedback. So after we get done here, we're gonna, we go over the recipe. If you see any questions on ingredients that you have, if you have any suggest suggestions, um, anything like that, we just kind of collaborate. Then over the month, we make the recipe. Then the next month we come back, we discuss it. What did we like? What did we didn't? What didn't we like? What did we learn? What challenges? And then everybody shares their photos to try and up their photo game too. So, with all of that, um, if you have any questions, let me know. But this week, this I don't know why I keep saying week. I'm month. Gonna, can I just add on real quick? Yes. The one thing that I just want to add on to what Chrissy's saying that I would really like to see this group do is bring it back to the business side of things, because obviously we're all home bakers or aspiring home bakers or wanting to run a business or whatever the case is. Right. And so like for me personally, I spend my days decorating sugar cookies. Right. And so it's nice to kind of, you know, get inspired to do something that's a little different once a month. And then I would really like this group to come back and sort of talk about how we can incorporate that into our business in a practical kind of way, right? Like I do just cookies. So how can I take something like, you know, something like what we're doing tonight or bars or, you know, cupcakes or whatever and incorporate it maybe for special occasions or, you know, how can I play around with packaging? How can I do things differently than the recipe in order to make it practical for my business and practical for what I do on a regular basis. And by I, I mean like everybody in general, obviously. Um, and so I think that this is a really cool way to then customize some recipes, try something new and then bring it back and say, okay, how can we use this in a business sense? How can we make money? How can we take this idea and shift it into a way we can make money? Or is this something that was maybe kind of fun to do and, and whatever, but 
it, it's not practical for making money off of or running a business with, you know. Um, so that's really something that I would like to see. And so I'm really excited that so many people are joining because I think the more people you have, the more, <clears throat> you know, opinions you get, the more people that try it, the better everything is. So that's my two cents. Absolutely. I guess I should have introduced Sarah. So Sarah's kind of my partner in crime. She does um, classes for us in the academy every single month. She has been decorating sugar cookies for over a decade. She has won awards. Um, she's pretty amazing. So she's... I'm okay. She's okay. <laughs> um, so she, honestly, you it doesn't matter. It could be three o'clock in the morning. And I'd be like, Sarah, how many tablespoons is what? It don't even matter. I just, it doesn't matter what baking question I have. I just ask her and she's like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay. Or like math, like, okay, Sarah, how many, um, how much profit am I going to make based on X, Y, Z? Um, I get, I'm having people message me about the passcode. Yeah. For those who don't know me, I'm very ADHD driven. So I like to know everything about everything. And so if there's questions and there's things like that, I will go in and do all the research and figure out, oh, what's the difference between these leaveners? And I have an entire book about baking with salt um, and different types of salt and things like that. So I'm kind of a baking nerd in that sense. Like I really want to know all the things and how the how it works and why it works the way it does. And I always tell everybody like Carrie pause, they'll tell you in all my classes, I'm like, yeah, I can take you through and show you step-by-step step how to do something, but does, does that help you in the long run? What I really want is for us to all develop skills and be able to add things to our repertoire and, and grow and do what works for us um, and not necessarily fit into a little box all the time. So that's really, you know, kind of falls into this group because I love the idea of everybody kind of taking this one recipe and then making it their own and going just wild with it. So I think it'd be really cool to get a bunch of more people involved and just have fun with it. But that's what Chrissy means when she introduces me. Like I'm, I will go and do all the research that people don't want to do or don't care about just to give you all the answers. So if you need anything, let me know. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. Did everybody find the recipe? Okay. Thumbs up, thumbs down, down, no Karen? Okay, um, let me, before we continue, put this in the chat. Karen, can you find the chat right there? I know it's not always, it doesn't always come up because sometimes you have to hit that dot, dot, dot and go to the more. So this is the cookbook club. You see, it used to be called Christie's Cookbook Club, but now it's Bake with Friends because we're all friends. Okay. So if you go to, I guess I could share my screen real quick. Um, can you see it? Am I on the right page? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes. Okay. So this is the Academy website. And Bake with Friends, it should be free for everyone. I have made it open to the public. So if you can't access it, I may have done something wrong. I'm hoping that everyone can access it. So here, if we go down, here are the previous ones that we've done. Okay. And then this is the one where, oh, you can't see me pointing. Okay. So this one here is what we're doing next. So if you find this, then you'll just click on it and there will be the recipe. Now, after we record this, then I will turn it into something more like this, not that, that one was different, uh, this, where we have the, the, um, the, the recording, and then people will send in their pictures, and I think this right here was the book that we got it from, so we'll just kind of do that. Um, here's one that we must not have had a class for this one. So we do different things, but that's kind of the point. At, once this is over, the um, class will go up there so everybody can refer to it. What I like is for everyone to go to the recipe first before we have class. And I know that you're just finding out about this now and go through the recipes. 
See if you know what all the ingredients are. See if you have any questions about the ingredients. There's some that we're going to have that, um, you know, are pushing us and we will need to research the ingredients possibly. So that's something that we've done in the past. And then if you have those questions, you bring them here before we even start. And that way we can kind of get you on the right track. Okay, so now, Karen, did you see where it was? Yes? Okay. Now, um, does anybody have any questions? Does anybody want to come out? Did I explain what we do? I've been doing it long enough. I'm not really sure if I explained it or if it's just all in my head. So, um, Leah, do you want to come out and say if it makes sense to you? or if you have any questions? Yeah, it made sense. Um, I was actually reviewing the recipe now and um, I don't use corn syrup. And I was wondering if there was a substitute or if, if it's needed. Is it, does that thicken up the uh, caramel? Cause I think I've made caramel without corn syrup before. Um, I have never made caramel without corn syrup but you could I mean Sarah do you know of a recipe without you do you know yeah you could absolutely make caramel without corn syrup um the trick to the the millionaire bars um if you haven't made them before is the consistency of the caramel um because you want something that after it comes out of the oven and it's baked and you know all of that um that it's going to solidify in a way that like you can cut them into actual bars does that make sense so you yeah want to yeah um but absolutely i mean i've made like generally when i make caramel um it's just sugar you know um and right. uh, the butter and and vanilla in there at the end and the heavy cream um so you can do that Absolutely. Um, when you're boiling your sugar for it, you just want to make sure it comes up to that softball stage and doesn't go any further past that so that you don't get that hard caramel. Does that make sense? Um, but as far as like actually the actual caramel recipe, it really, I mean, this is a recipe that they give you for this particular one. Um, but it doesn't really matter how you choose to go about making your caramel, as long as you get a soft bite caramel, uh, versus something that's going to harden, like rock tooth breaking hard. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know. It made sense in my head. Yeah, it, does. And <laughs> yep, I was, it makes sense. And I was just looking up, um, and this particular website says that you can make it with honey also, instead of the, um, corn syrup. So I don't know if anybody's ever tried that, but sounds pretty cool. Okay, so I might I might try that then and uh, let you guys know how it turns out. Yes, thank that you. Is exactly what this is. That is perfect because this is how we start getting the ball rolling of learning new things. So that will be your assignment. <laughs> All right. Does anybody else have any thoughts, questions, um, anything that? has inspired them to want to try something outside the box. Carrie, you got anything? Has anybody made anything like this for their business on the business side of things like has anybody, does anybody do like markets, things like that, where you're doing stuff like brownies or squares or, um, you know, uh, coffee cakes, things like that, where that you can incorporate something like this? Hey, it's Sam. So I know Christy and Sarah probably knows, but I do massive dessert tables for weddings and everything like that. And this is actually on my menu and everything. So um, I've made this several times. So it's one of those things that you you can do a lot. I cook, I baked mine in a nine by 13 pan and then I cut it and they usually yield about 18 for me. And they love it. I usually double the recipe so I can get a little bit thicker ones because it's just something I like. I like thicker ones, but it is how, that's how I do it. Well, thank you. That's 
pretty awesome and encouraging too. All right, any other thoughts, questions, anything? Is everybody excited to give it a try? Yes, no, yeah, I'm excited. Um, so what will happen now is after this is over, I will um, put the recording on. So if anybody missed it, they can go back. We'll keep the recipe on there. As you are making them, you can post the pictures. You can either send them to me. You can post them in the group and tag me. Um, I'm going to make the next month's event. So you can even put them in that event as well. Um, so maybe we can convince Joby to do a little math, uh, cost analysis for them. Yeah, Joby, does that like, sound like something? Right now, what? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're putting me on the spot to do what? Yeah, something fun. You, do you think, for the love of faith? You can do a cost analysis spreadsheet for millionaire shortbread. Okay, it's a win. So yes. that now that's going to really help us with our business. Okay. Yes. Um, any other thoughts, questions, concerns? No. All right. Well, then I will see you in the group. Um, I'm really, really happy to meet everybody that is here, and I love you guys, and I love our group so much. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you next month. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Okay. I'm glad I popped on and saw your faces. I'm so glad I got to see your face. I just got my kids to bed. It makes me so happy. All right. I love you guys so much. Uh, I will see you next month. Really challenge yourself. All right. Bye, guys.